What's up, everybody, and welcome to Build Your Empire podcast today, April 7th, day 7th. Chris Marshall, Frank G., what's up, buddy? Not much, man. Just got home from work and doing all right. Doing. All right, you out here, out there. I was out, out here, out there today, man. Yeah, normally we say, you know, we out here, in here, but you are out there, um, you know, just thankful you got a job. Yeah, for sure. Um, a lot of changes in this, you know, I guess since Monday. Yeah, I'm very thankful to still be working and getting paid. Lots of changes. Proud of you. You still came in to keep up with the daily podcast. We're going to do 30 podcasts in 30 days. You guys who have been listening, you know the rules. We're going to put the timer on for 15 minutes. We're going to talk for 15 minutes. Once that buzzer goes off, we are going to sign out with our sign out message. And uh, Frank G, you know what I thought we would kind of discuss today? Talk to me. You know, I thought maybe today we would discuss our three rules. I feel like, you know, you know, the past year we've been living life so fast. <laughs> our where, three rules. You know, our, yeah, you know, we have three rules. And we have like a rule book on many sectors when it comes to different things. But, you know, it seems like we have a general rule book kind of, I guess, how to live. I, I don't know what to call it, but I legit follow these rules. Yeah, they were created for a reason. Uh, we were in situations and the rule book, as, as we were traveling to in 20, beginning of 2020, the rules just expanded. We had one, two, and three powerful rules that we will probably always follow. And they're not even necessarily rules they're just like guidelines systems. yeah guidelines that's exactly what the word is um mm -hmm. you know before we'll get into the rules you know how yesterday we had uh memory lane monday yes sir so i think every week you know when we have memory lane monday we're gonna have to we're gonna have to play this jam you know this jam's gonna have to bring us back <laughs> i don't know man i mean memory lane monday i kind of wish it was monday to you know tell a story go down memory lane in which we kind of are, because it's Tuesday we're going to talk about these guidelines. Tuesday guidelines. All right, look, before I go into rule number one, because rule number one is a bit tricky to explain and potentially understand, you got rule number two. Rule number one, you know what, man? I'm just going to say it. You know, look. We have so many amazing memories, right? I mean, we have been in mansions and planes and boats and with, you know, beautiful women with great friends and uh, eating steaks and good times, right? Yeah, chefs, four course meals, absolutely. I mean, we were living, we were living, but I think it's important, it's insanely important to understand that when you're living on this quote unquote high life, that that moment is right there, the memory. And if you understand that, you can embrace the moment and you won't feel too upset when it's over. A yes. moment is a memory. Moments become memories. Moments become memories. So when you are sitting, you know, look, we were in Jamaica. We pretty much had a private beach to ourselves, which was amazing. Wonderful, yes. And this is when I thought of this rule, rule number one. I was in the water looking at the sunset, and I was like, wow, this is an amazing moment that will soon become a memory. And we still think about it to this day. And still I feel to like this day. when we talk about it, I feel like sometimes we're just reliving it. Reliving it. And, you know, it makes me wonder, was that really the moment or the memory? I guess it's the memory. It, it, yeah, I, I would say so. I mean, we cherish it, certainly. Um, we were living in the fast lane a little bit in 2020. Skirt, skirt. And we have plenty of memories. We were hoping to continue on that path of making these memories. I mean, we certainly will have more. I'm not worried about that. But what I am worried is about people who often don't go and, you know, have an extravagant memory or, or do something insanely fun. Mm -hmm. And they get too caught up in it. Yeah, and, and uh, that's that's like all they could think about. And like, I got to go back. I got to go back. 
yeah, you have to embrace it and understand that that moment is the moment that you waited for, that you worked six months to save up your dollars to have this moment. You have it. Now it's the memory. Yeah, and right now it seems like, well, for us, I know not everyone, um, so I guess this could be selfish, but right now we're saving only. We're not doing anything, uh, as in travel-wise. We're not really spending money. I was just looking at houses. Because of our, yeah, well because of our fortunate situation. I mean, now could be the time to buy. I don't, I haven't looked at real estate myself. Yeah. I mean, we definitely could have an episode on that because it's very tricky. I could buy a house in Woodbridge or Edison, New Jersey for like $250,000 with a mortgage of $1,200 per month, which would be cheap as hell with property, two bedrooms, two bathrooms, a nice house. But then it's problematic because I'm single and I don't want to live an hour and 35 minutes away from New York City, which is my epicenter of where I have to live and essentially probably be out networking, creating relationships, maybe finding relationships. Mm -hmm. So it's just a, that's a whole another issue. Yeah. I mean, maybe you'll be working from home more often. So who knows? Could be easier. Facts. Frank G, we have rule number two. Rule number two. Rule number one was a moment is a memory. What is rule number two? You're asking me what rule number two is? Yeah, unless you want me to go with it. I mean, I um, remember rule number two. I think rule number two is best if you tell the crowd. Rule number two, which means Frank G may have forgotten rule number two. That's not <laughs> a big deal because I'm right here. Rule number two, all good things come to an end. That they do. You know, we we have a, I guess we have a rule book for certain situations. Of course. Um, because I'm currently thinking of a few other rules that we have made. <laughs> yeah, we, we have different sectors. In fact, when I, when I, when I said we're going to go over the rule book, you probably shit your pants for a second. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm like, hmm, there's certain rules that I'm not sure. No, no, we can't say that on air to distribute uh, publicly. Yeah, it it certainly wouldn't be for the keys. No, no, it wouldn't be. I thought you were saying keys, like we're going to Key West or something. <laughs> because then it may apply over there. <laughs> I think it would apply over there, yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah, for, but, sure. for the I'm, keys. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, huh, I don't know if, if I'm like, there's no way we're saying these rules. Nah, nah, those, those rules are for us. And I guess people if people, demographic. yeah. So uh, it, for those who inquire about the rules that will not be said. Yeah. You air. can reach out to us. We may or may not let you into those rules. Yes, absolutely. But for the rules of life, rule number two, all good things come to an end, which kind of, go into rule number one absolutely uh yeah they actually work hand in hand um and we actually had spoken about rule number two i believe in one of our earlier episodes um when we spoke about it in the sense of relationships we did, mm -hmm. we did. as in people be maybe yep. scared that a relationship will eventually end in i mean sorrowness or sorrow death, in yeah. which i was like oh but if it's true love it'll last forever and you said one dies all good things come to an end yeah yeah um, i remember that i mean look at 2020 for example we were living in the fast lane everybody yeah. the whole world was it all came to an end yeah the world was really like prospering at the moment um yes and then all of a sudden covid19 came in and you could see it it almost makes everyone, I mean, I would hope that people see that we're all equal. Uh, we're all affected by this and doing the same thing at the moment. You would so. hope so. Um, you know, I, I do people, well, people being quarantined, I feel like uh, building up animosity and getting a bit hostile and some racism started to come from it. But I mean, it is what it is. You know, it's funny when I say all good things come to an end, uh, a lot of people, their rebuttal is, well, all things come to an end. And they are completely right.
But I think it's important to know that the good thing, though, you know, when you're making a shit ton of money in a small, uh, you know, mm. duration of time, it's going to come to an end. When you're living prosperous, it's going to come to an end. When you're in a great relationship, it's, it's probably going to come to an end. All good things come to an end. Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> it. you can have a wonderful relationship of true love and don't be scared to venture into that. It's not like... You, not at all. Like we said, it could end in when you're 95 and you lived your life to the fullest and that, that you know, things come to it. Life comes to an end. You know, you just have to live it. So all good things come to an end. I think it's important to, to understand and grasp that because, again, is. when you're having a great, fantastic time, you understand that that moment is a memory that's coming to an end. Yeah, and I think that also can humble you uh, when you realize. It does. <laughs> yeah, when you realize that all good things come to an end, you're going to appreciate that moment way more and probably not brag about it knowing that one you'll, day it will be You'll done. get it again Yeah, because that, that comes to rule number three. Rule number three, it literally segues right to that. But before we get into rule number three, you know, when you hang out with people who don't understand that a moment becomes a memory or mm -hmm. that good things come to an end, their energy is a bit off. It's like they want more. Like they just, like they're, they're just so overwhelmed. It's very interesting to see. Yeah, I mean, it's almost like that peak moment in that situation isn't enough or they think they're going to get more and more maybe and they're searching and searching instead of just living in that moment which will become a memory do you remember rule number three or should i get into rule number three you just say it before i accidentally say our, our hidden rules <laughs> rule number three every single thing you want you could get and you will get in due time in due time yeah that's super important um We've been now doing this podcast since about December, mid-December, late December, uh, maybe right after Christmas or so. And where we dream of this being, you know, heard by the masses and, you know, in due time, that can certainly happen. Of course. I mean, we're nowhere near there. Um, you mm -hmm. know, I'll take my 12 to 24 listeners currently and thank you from the bottom of my heart. Because I know in due time, it could be 12,000. Certainly. Um, we just have you know, just keep being persistent, um, putting out these episodes, taking the feedback from you guys, we, which we really emphasize we would love the feedback from you guys. And we're just not going to stop. In due time, we're going to get what we want. Well, it all comes down to, I guess, work ethic, patience, and, and perseverance. And I mean, you truly got to be smart, though. You can't be a dumbass about it. Yeah, of course. I mean, you have to have a plan um, or a strategy. Exactly. Yeah, with that, I mean, sometimes these episodes, we free ball it, but our plan is we're doing this 30, 30 for 30, 15 minute challenge when the. <clears throat> oh, the, oh, the, oh, this is more for us than. You know, I always say when you put out content, you got to put it out for the audience. But mm -hmm. I almost feel like this is more for us to to refine our craft and, yeah. and you know figure out could we get smoother. I I mean, again, we're putting out episodes by the time people even see a post about the last one. Yeah, I know, I know. You know, that's what happens when every single day you're putting out a post. By the time, yeah, by the time we put a story on Instagram we're already making the next episode. Uh, by the time I put a link in my bio on Instagram, I'm already getting another one. Uh, yeah. So, and, and not everyone's going to get clicked on, but um, they will get clicked on if they have good copy. You know, if you, if we title this one, three lessons of life, it, it may get clicked on more so than yesterday. Memory going down memory lane. Yeah. Memory lane was a good one. I enjoyed that episode, but <laughs> this one certainly, I would emphasize uh, listening to because these truly are humbling rules uh, in life. Oh, the rules. I, I legit I remember. I speak. I, I mean, I tell people 
I think they're, I, I truly think they're important and they make sense. <laughs> Pretty profound. Yeah, no, they make perfect sense. I mean, I would, I think people, some people even follow these rules without knowing, not everybody, of course, but I would think we're not the only ones who understand that these rules are a way of life or they are life. It's funny. Cause you know, we're doing a podcast today here mm-hmm. and I hop on, you have no fucking clue what we're going to discuss. And I just like, all right, three rules. <laughs> You're like, huh? Which ones? <laughs> yeah. I mean today. Yeah. Well, the first few times we've discussed shows our episodes, but yeah, today I was working all, all day, not at home for once. And I came on like, all right, let's do this. And yeah, you just presented this great episode. Yeah. I mean, sometimes, you know, you succeed. Sometimes you fail. Sometimes you have good content, good conversations. Sometimes you got shit. Sometimes you're not feeling well and you don't want to do this. We're human too, but here we are pouring up that liquor. Boom. 15 Boom. minutes. The dinger has gone Ooh. off. Ooh, the alarm. The dinger has gone off. That means one thing. We are going to sign out. Frank G, you have a sign out message. I uh, just thank you guys for rocking with us. You know, remember rocking, rocking. Just remember these three rules: moments become memories. All good things come to an end, and everything you want, you can get in due time. And we'll be here in tomorrow. Due time. We will be here tomorrow. If you did listen to this episode, I truly think you will get value from it, from the three rules in life in which me and Frank G follow. We out.